Well, I'm on facts of Mars. In Western New York has been racked uh, by the murder of a seven-year-old boy by his mother. And what she's accused of doing is essentially stabbing him and then cutting off his head. NBC News wanted to know who Hanane Mohib is and what set her off to murder her son as Sheriff alleges. Sheriff Todd Baxter said Mohib called 9-11 on March 3. Sheriff says she complained about mental difficulties. Sheriff's deputies helped her to the hospital bed that night. When he called 9-11 again on March 8th, this time, Sheriff says her deputies made a mental health arrest and took her to RGH, where the Sheriff says he stayed for 12 days. RGH is Rochester General Hospital. Now, what was she upset about those days? That's from their reporter and Sheriff Todd Baxter. I don't want to get too deep into it, but she realized she was having some difficulties. These were self-induced calls and she realized what a difficult time, having a difficult time with her mental state. Sheriff says, well, he left RGH on March 26th. I asked Rochester Regional Health, who operates RGH, about her care, but spokeswoman Veronica G.C. Brown says she can't talk about it because of privacy laws. We try to learn as much about Mohib as possible. And this goes on and on. Now, uh, we'll take you briefly to the Rochester edition of the New York Communist Party newsletter, otherwise known as Democrat and Chronicle. And a pair of frantic 9-11 calls by a suicidal woman armed with a knife sent three deputies racing toward a town of Sweden home in Western New York Thursday night. When they arrived, another caller urged them to hurry because someone had been injured. When deputies arrived moments later, they were com- confronted by 36-year-old Hanane Mohib, brandishing a large kitchen knife and refusing to drop it. Pepper spray and taser were used to disarm and prevent her from harming other occupants in the home. There's a picture of the kid, there's a picture of her. Authorities say they aren't certain what events precipitated the gruesome attack. That's BS. That is bullshit. There's absolutely no explanation for it. Monroe County Sheriff Todd Baxter said in the midday news conference on Friday, that is incredible bullshit. Word evil comes to mind. This is mother took her own son's life. No explanation for it, huh? You, sir, are an idiot. Or you're a liar. One of the two. So, let's take a look at something here. Well, how do you like this? Uh, zero indicators of anything religious, zero indicators of anything cultural, said Monroe County Sheriff Todd Baxter. He's a liberal. I thought the last guy was bad, this guy's worse. Yes, of course, as always, but what about this? When you meet non believers, strike their necks. Strike the necks. Authorities persist in the assumption that Muslims in the U.S. don't believe that. Oh, baloney. It's getting mighty deep, and some Muslims, such as nurse practitioner Hanin Mohib, keep proving him wrong. When does it occur to her, in whatever rage she was feeling toward her son, to behead him? The religious and cultural factors kick in at that point. 
Well, you think? It's gonna be an ongoing investigation, but... You can judge for yourself. We'll take a look at... The Koran. Sahib International, so... When you meet those who disbelieve in battle, strike their necks until when you have inflicted slaughter upon them, then secure their bonds and either confer favor afterwards or ransom them until the war lays down its burdens. How nice. They can't figure it out no matter what. So these li liberals are either lying or they're twisted, so twisted in their heads that they can't understand simple basic concepts. Like the tyranny of a religion, so-called religion. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.